Let's start again. What is it? Voice over, take number 183. It was in December last year when I first started brooding brook. Only a few minutes after following it, the two word phrase in thought encapsulated everything I felt I needed. It had in it reading, writing, traveling, meeting people, and capturing moments. While the truth is that I'm not good at any of these except reading, I still needed something I looked forward to every day. Something that nursed me forward. No, I actually needed more than a nudge. A hard push, or even better, a kick in the back that badly hurt if that's what it took to make me move. One of the very few people who I told about Brooding Brook asked me, Why? While I felt I needed this idea to take shape and happen, I didn't have an answer that wasn't too vague and abstract. But I do have an answer now. I find it intriguing to stare at paintings and artwork. I don't always understand them. I can't create them. But they make me wonder and leave me curious. To create characters, scenes and stories that first exist in my mind, and to present them through videos is the closest thing to painting and art that I can manage to do. But my first two videos were made using free stock footage. While I did learn a lot of new things and it kept my mind occupied and busy, it still felt like I was just delivering someone else's thoughts, not mine. So, how can I create my own form of paintings? Almost after a year and a half since the pandemic started, we spent a whole day out. We went shopping. We had food outside. And we went shopping again. my newborn niece. I paused for a moment to read what all I scribbled so far in this story. It's nowhere close to perfect. It could have been way more interesting and it lacks flow. But it's okay. This story still serves the more important purpose of helping me get started. Get started with a life of more intent and better purpose, seeking through words and fleeting moments what truly gives me joy. Those few people who are not a mess are probably good for about 20 minutes of dinner conversation. This is from the book Almost Everything Notes on Hope by Anne Lamott. It is my current read and I hope this book gives me the strength to free myself from the shackles of the evil reading slum. Of all the places you could have been in right now, I'm glad you chose to be here. Welcome to Brooding Brook. I try to follow my thoughts which take me to the stories that are waiting to be found. And this is where I share those stories. And if you're wondering what place this is, I happily present my hometown, Vishakhapatnam, dearly called by another name as well, Vizak. You will be seeing more of this beautiful place in my upcoming stories. Until then, thank you for your time and stay safe.